Well, hello and welcome to the Wednesday edition of DC Today. We're going to be going quick today. Uh, interesting day in markets. I'll cover what took place and a couple other market news items. And then I am running into a client meeting and then uh, running to an airport as I will be flying to New York City tonight. And I'll be in the New York office uh, tomorrow bringing you yet another DC Today. Um, look, I do think the big, I, I've talked about it already quite a bit. So the bond yield story really is the big story right now. It's hurting risk assets. It's keeping risk assets from catching much of a bid right now, just in terms of the short term uh, technical realities of what's happening in the markets that as yields have continued to go higher, it's very difficult uh, for a market that is totally dependent upon multiple expansion to see stock prices move higher, you're not going to get multiple expansion when bond yields are moving higher. Um, and yet, you can see in the Fed funds futures market, and this was actually the question that came in today for Ask David, that the, Fed, the financial markets are telling you that they don't believe the Fed is going to be raising rates anytime soon. And so for bond yields to be going higher when the Fed will be very likely staying put uh, for the foreseeable future and possibly for good. And then I think going into cuts into next year, um, I, it really does suggest to me a very plausible uh, conclusion, logically speaking, that there is a supply issuance issue with treasuries that when you have more supply, you get uh, higher uh, excuse me, lower prices, which means higher yields. And the, I think that is what is forcing rates up really across the curve. Um, and th that is largely a byproduct of the current state of revenue collection relative to budget deficits. The um, other story, though, so that's one I've already been talking about, but the other story is oil prices. Um, you're very likely going to see quite a delta that will come in the months ahead between headline and core inflation. Uh, you're right now looking at uh, crude, excuse me, Brent prices having passed $90 a barrel and WTI crude having passed $87, although it did close a little less. To, no, $87.58. So we closed above $87 as well. Um, I think that, you know, you're talking about 10 month highs in oil prices. Uh, expect a big delta between core and headline. And in the meantime, you just have to wonder. Why in the world with prices between 65 and 75 for so long that no further effort was made to fill out the Strategic Petroleum Reserve? It's very possible that we are looking at what was one of the great policy blunders of all time. Um, China and Japan are both taking efforts to defend their currency as the dollar has continued to rise against the yen and against the yuan. Um, and I think that they're pledging, quote unquote, decisive action uh, to arrest this drop in their own currency um, is, is a significant event playing out in financial markets. Uh, as far as the state of market health, only 37 percent of S&P 500 companies were above their 50 day moving average. And that was at, you know, four o'clock this morning. That number probably went lower here today as well. So the market was at one point down over 350 points. It closed down 198. So it made back almost half of what had been down, but nevertheless still closed down over half a percentage point. The S&P was down 70 basis points and the NASDAQ was down over 1%. Technology was the worst performing sector today, down 1.37%. Utilities, which have been just an atrocious sector all year, were the leading sector today up a whopping 0.2%. The 10-year closed up again, 2.8 basis points. So the 10-year yield closing at 4.29%, putting more downward pressure on bond prices. Uh, ISM services came out with a good number. Uh, services jumped up to 54.5 in August. 52.5 uh, is what had been expected. New orders were all the way up to 57.5. All of this is well into expansion territory. That's the economic news today. That's the market news. Those are the things on our mind. I'll have more to say from uh, New York City tomorrow, Thursday. Thanks for listening, reading, and watching the DC Today. Mm -hmm.